Nick Glamini is one talented and determined rider, not only because of his gutsy effort to complete the grueling stage within the time limit, but because he persevered through the rain, cold and near darkness to finish the stage and honour the team that gave him a chance to realise his lifelong dream. This is a race I wanted to honour and honour my dream. I mean, it was the first Tour de France and um, I, I knew it was going to be hard, but um, I've honoured the dream. Dyke Ryder has been impressed with Glamini's work ethic and the Quebec and Next Hash team principal believes his impact on the team has been immense. Our journey with him has been amazing and he's always got up every day, worked really hard and lives, this, I guess, the true values of Ubuntu in our team. You know, his diversity and his culture and, and, and the way he engages and connects with everybody in the team is, you know, is amazing. The 25-year-old rider says he will take invaluable lessons from his brutal debut at the world's most famous and toughest cycling race and hopes to inspire others through his actions. I would have loved to, to finish the race, but um, it's, it is sad uh, to finish the race this way. But um, for me, I think the most important thing was not to stop and... Um, and ride until the finish. That inspiration, not only for his teammates, but also for all the staff and also for, you know, for so many people in South Africa, across Africa, and in any emerging market around the world that believes that it's not possible. But, um, and Nick has proven that, it, you know, that if you dream big and that if you focus on it and, and have a lot of hope and work hard, then you, know, you can achieve a lot. Lamini, who hails from a community in Cape Town infamous for gang-related violence, says his past forged him into a tough competitor and helped him battle through crashes and tough stages. But the support he felt from the Rainbow Nation really motivated him during the famous race. The Tour de France is one of the hardest races in the world. And, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just happy that... Um, you know, I didn't sustain any bad injuries, but um, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, I'd really like to thank all the supporters. The fearless competitor will head to Tokyo next to represent South Africa at the Olympics. And although his Tour de France is over for this year, he maintains he has unfinished business and will be back on his bike representing Team Quebec and Next Hash in 2022, where he'll be ready to handle anything the world's toughest cycling race could possibly put in his path. CS2 plus C, CGTN. Johannesburg, South Africa.